Hey guys, Amy and I just got back from FNM, and yes, Amy is still alive. So thank you for asking. I wanted to make this video, and Amy actually wanted to make this video as well. So it talks about a cosplayer, Christine. Uh, Christine is most notable for Avison at GP Las Vegas. It's one of the most famous cosplayers, and Wizard of the Coast has gone on to acknowledge that she is. And apparently she was not paid a penny from Channel Fireball or Wizards of the Coast for GP Vegas 2015. She was the face of the event. Wizards of the Coast promoted her like crazy because she is a good image. She is a female Magic the Gathering cosplayer. That is a very unique combination. So she was the face of the event. Uh, Channel Fireball said no to airfare and a room for her for this year's GP Vegas. She is living in a trailer. Uh, she has $60 to her name. She does not have a laptop. She does not have, I mean, very much. She had to put some stuff in storage and donate the rest. She had to move back home with her mom. This is insanity. This is absolute BS. Like, I'm not going to stand by and say, Hey, good job Hasbro, good job Channel Fireball. Let me tell you how things are supposed to go. So when Google flies me out to events and they fly me out, the, the last event I went to was Ireland and they, they have a personal assistant, which is a third party company, schedule the best plane ticket for me when I want to travel there, when I want to go to the hotel, where I want to fly from, what I'm gonna eat if I have any allergies or what I just feel like eating and when you go do go to Google they open up the whole office to you you can use their dining rooms you can use their snack bar you can use their actual bar and you can say hey I want to go to this Irish pub and they will pick up the tab for everyone in the pub so it's insanity to me that a company a multi-billion dollar company cannot fly out such a amazing brand ambassador like Christine because other companies do this all the time. I can tell you Microsoft does it. I can tell you a lot of the tech, the Silicon Valley's companies, they, when they fly me out, they make sure everything's taken care of. There's someone to pick me up from the airport. The hotel is a very, a four star, a five star hotel. The food is always what I want. So if I want in and out burger, there's a person whose job is to get me in and out burger. I mean, it's kind of gross, but like I do take advantage of it. So I'm a developer and I'm not gonna go into details of what I work with Google on, but it's insanity that they can't even pay her room and board. They, not that they can't, cause they can, they won't. And when she wants to fly out to GP Vegas, which she has, she should be there. Cause she is a main attraction. Nope, no room for you, no board for you, and it is sad. I'm like almost sick. Like I'm pretty sick. I'm pretty upset because this is how people treat art. Um, and the same with Magic the Gathering art. Why we don't have so many Magic the Gathering artists is because they can do League of Legends, they can do Pokemon, and get way more traction, way more. One of the things I respect most about Tolarian is he easily could do Pokemon, get 10 times the subscribers, 10 times the views, but he chooses to do Magic the Gathering because he loves it. That's not true for everyone in our community. I'll just point blank to say that. That is not true. That passion and that love for Magic the Gathering does not exist for everyone in our community uh, on YouTube. I'm not going to call out names, but it is what it is. This is a person who spends her own money, who has chosen to go after a passion that financially is unjustifiable. So yes, I'm going to link to her video. I'm going to link to her Patreon. As you know, if you're, if you're into MTG finance, because I know a lot of you are, this is probably the best investment you can make. When we look at MTG finance, we look at, is it unique? Does, is it unique? Christine is unique. And does it have potential to grow? Should Magic the Gathering, I'm not saying it ever would, become an eSport? Cosplay is a very important part growing League of Legends. 
League of Legends has some of the best cosplayers I've ever seen. And they put hours, they get paid, they get sponsored. League of Legends, Riot Games pays them. They're everywhere and they love it. And that community has grown and that has grown League of Legends into a esport that it is today. I would honestly, I mean, if she has a Patreon where she signed something, this would probably be the time to pick up an autograph because I feel like financially it's a good speculation uh, for the future of Magic. Uh, so is it unique? Yes. Does it have the potential of the meta shifts correctly? Let's say we become an eSport or even Hearthstone. Uh, yes. To grow? Yes. And man, like you have to watch the video. Like it, I feel like crying after watch the, watching the video and I'm pretty... Developers don't really have any feelings, by the way. <laughs> it's just code. Um, and man, like it is, uh, it's just, I hope she gets enough money to continue. Uh, and it would be a disappointment to me if our community cannot support someone as unique, as talented, and as passionate about the game as Christine. So I'll leave it at that. Links will be in the description below. Do what you guys can. Spread it. Share the video. Uh, share her Patreon. I don't even care if you share the video. Just share it. Just copy the Patreon. Share it on your Twitter feeds. And let's see if we can at least get her to GP Vegas and build her a business model to be financially stable. Because she, that is the very least she deserves. And Wizard of Coast, Channel Fireball, if they're not going to pick up the slack... That's really, really sad. Anyway, bye guys.